knows a lot about all kinds of stuff, Professor Dave explains. We have seen in previous tutorials how the present indicative is formed. Each conjugation has its own specific endings. In the first conjugation, as with amo amare, the thematic vowel is an A. In the second conjugation, as with moneo monere, it's an E. But the third conjugation, as with lego legere, because of a short E, modified the E into an I. Let's review the third conjugation while also introducing the fourth conjugation. The verbs of the fourth conjugation are easily recognizable from their infinitives, which are ending in ire. They are very similar to the third conjugation, but in the fourth there is a long vowel I found in the infinitive. Therefore, the I is retained throughout the entire present system, making it rather easy to conjugate. The third conjugation, as you remember, has the infinitive in ere with a short e, and the short vowels tend to change. As a reminder, it won't hurt to compare a new verb of the fourth with an old verb of the third. Notice also the difference in the stress of the forms. Audio, audire. Audio, audis, audit, audimus, auditis, audiunt. Lego, legere. Lego, legis, legit, legimus, legitis, legunt. Let's give audire a closer look. In the fourth conjugation, the personal endings are added to the present stem. So first of all, make sure you identify the present stem from the first principal part that is given to you by the dictionary. Then add the personal endings. But look now at the third person plural. One would expect audint. This form ultimately modifies into audiunt, just like the third conjugation legunt. Together with audio, audire, audiwi, Auditum, some very common fourth conjugation verbs are dormio, dormire, dormiwi, dormitum, finio, finire, finiwi, finitum, schio, schire, schiwi, schitum, salio, salire, salui, saltum. Sepelio, sepelire, sepeliwi, sepultum. Munio, munire, muniwi, munitum. Sentio, sentire, sensi, sensum. Reperio, reperire, reperi, repertum. Aperio, aperire, Aperui, apertum. Venio, venire, veni, ventum. Invenio, invenire, inveni, inventum. Winkio, winkire, winksi, winktum. Let's use these verbs to form some sentences. Pauci, veniunt, ad senectutem. Quidam sentiunt vitam beatam esse. Amicitia ex sapientia et amore et moribus bonis venit. Pecuniam in agris reperimus. Very closely resembling the fourth conjugation are the verbs of third conjugation in io, but if you remember, their infinitive is actually ending in ere. In fact, here the thematic vowel, which is short, does change. Let's review fugio fugere, meaning to flee, and recall the forms. Notice the stress in the forms. Fugio. Fugis. Fugit. Fugimus. Fugitis, fugiunt. Conjugating just like fugio are the following verbs. Capio, capere, capi, captum. Cupio, cupere, cupiwi, cupitum. Incipio, incipere, incepi, 
inceptum. Facio, facere, feci, factum. Fugio, fugere, fugi, fugiturum. Pario, parere, peperi, partum. Rapio, rapere, rapui, raptum. Iacio, iacere, iechi, iactum. Now let's use these verbs in a few sentences. Obsequium parit amicos, veritas parit odium. Vive memor mortis, fugit ora. Urbem hostes capiunt. Let's check comprehension. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Support me on Patreon so I can keep making content. And as always, feel free to email me, ProfessorDaveExplains at gmail.com.